Hey everybody, this is GGB. Today we're going to be talking about all the Saturday games. I hope you guys have enjoyed the facial hair, because this will be the last couple episodes. After I film this, it will be shaved. So the next time you see me, it will be a clean-cut GGB instead of a, a mustached and a little bit of sideburned GGB. But regardless, let's get into the first game of the day. 11 o'clock, we got number 8, Arkansas traveling to number 2, Georgia. Um... Georgia's favorite at 18 points this game on ESPN. It's one of the largest spreads I've ever seen between two top 10 opponents. But regardless, uh, how did Arkansas' season go so far? How did they go from unranked to top 10? Um, story is a large story of their domination over Texas. Now, at the beginning of the season, it did not start out great. With the, they Sure, they had a 38-17 win over Rice, but this game against Rice uh, ended up playing way closer at halftime than it probably should have been. It was a way closer game than most Hog fans remember because of how the score ended up, but it was a very close game at halftime. Um, so the season didn't start out great for Arkansas, but then the second game we got 40, they got a 40-21 win against then number 15 in the nation, Texas. Uh, so a big win there. Uh, that got them into the top 25 last week. That got them into, I don't know, like last week I believe they were t near 15-ish. Uh, then they had the 45-10 win over Georgia Southern. They were in the top 20 then. And then they moved up a little bit And when they played number 7, Texas A&M. And this was a game they were underdogs in by a significant margin. And I remember wanting to pick them. Unfortunately, if you go back, you have to watch my dad, which... Uh, but uh, I really wanted to pick them in this game. I really like the Hogs in this matchup. Um, but unfortunately, I got the ear infection, which I'm still dealing with which kind of sucks it really hurts um uh, but you can see back in my sunday videos i literally had a sneeze where my like then my ear started like pounding it was it hurts so bad anyways regardless i really wanted to pick arkansas in this game i couldn't i believe my dad did if you go back and watch the video which uh they but they did have a 10 point win over texas a and like this is a very good hogs team K.J. Jefferson last week had an under 50% completion percentage, but only threw the ball 15 times. He went 7-15, to threw for 212 yards and two touchdowns. Their big thing is the ground game, which wasn't a whole effective last week, but it was still pretty good. 17 carries for 82 yards for Traylon Smith, their leading rusher. Uh, Traylon Burks, their receiver, ended up having six catches for 167 yards and a touchdown. Georgia's season has been a season that was a lot of people... Georgia fans expect a national championship this year. That is the standard that the dogs have set for themselves. And they ended up the season, uh, starting off the season very good with a 10-3 win over the number three Clemson in the nation. Then they ended up, in my opinion, this was the more most impressive win on the record. They had a 56-7 win over UAB, a very good UAB team. This is a UAB team that is consistently a top group of five team. And to dominate them like that with a backup quarterback just shows, shows you how deep and how good this Georgia team is. Uh, then they had a 40-13 win over South Carolina. And then obviously the drubbing they gave last week is the 62-0 win over Vandy. The game against Vandy was so out of hand that their backup quarterback, Stetson Bennett, actually had more passing yards than JT Daniels because he saw more playing time. Stetson Bennett ended up going 11-15 through for 151 yards, a touchdown and a pick. Samir White, their running back, did not have the best day on the ground, but he did, uh, eh, it's decent. I mean, it's not horrible. They ended up having nine carries, 48 yards, and a touchdown that yards per carry is not bad, if you're thinking about it. A little bit over five yards per carry for Samir White. Uh, Brock Bowers, a tight end, was their leading receiver, which is the big problem I have with this Georgia team, is their receivers have made me worried here. But Brock Bowers is a pretty solid tight end. He ended up having four catches for 69 yards and two touchdowns. So how has this gone the other times previously? Uh, Arkansas is 4-11 against Georgia all time, and the last two have gone Georgia's way. What is really interesting about this football game is I think the Hogs are playing extremely good right now. And I think Georgia is too, but I think this is a way closer game than most people realize. Give me Georgia to win, but Arkansas to cover, and K.J. Jefferson to have the game of his life.